Hi, I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel, and today we're back near Humphrey, Nebraska at our test field where we've been running our EWS Pivot Series in this field behind me. It's September 15th. This field's done 18 rounds in total for irrigation this season, and we're done right now. The corn is starting to dry down. Some of the corn in the area is even starting to get taken off already. Let's jump into the field and go take a look at how the EWS Pivot Series tire is comparing at the end of the season to the 11 24 pneumatics that have been running right beside it. Okay, so we're in this gully draw where we've been coming back to repeatedly to measure and monitor our pivot track tire for the EWS Pivot Series that we have running on the end tower here in this field. Um, I've got a corn stalk just laying across the track. We're gonna take some measurements. Just wanted to show you the corn cobs though in this field. Uh, with this variety, it's a little bit smaller kernels but uh, 16 by 42 is what I counted here. Um, and I just took this off the edge. So if we go deeper in the crop, it might be a little bit better. Um, and so basically, as you can see here, we're pretty much at the black layered stage. It's gonna be close to 30% moisture right now. So this crop's gonna be coming off within a week or two, but uh, that's where we're at. Let's take a look at some pivot tracks. Okay, so like I was saying, this is the pivot track for the EWRS Pivot Series tire that we've been running here on the end tower. I've got a corn stalk across the track. Let's just take some quick measurements, see where we're at. So in the center here, I'm just about two inches. And then on the side, we'd be one inch. And then on this side, inch, inch and three quarters. So really the track just looks like a witness mark, but um, you know, if you call the an average track depth of about an inch and a half, that'd be fair to say. Um, yeah, here's where we're at. This is the very lowest point of the gully uh, on this field where it goes across. So um, inch and a half in the bottom of a gully at uh, 18 rounds. Okay, so this is our pivot track for the EWS Pivot Series. We're just up from the gully up the hill a little bit. Um, I've got a corn stalk across here again. You know, you can see the track is pretty uniform and uh, just a little bit of ridging on each side. So if we take a couple measurements here, um, in the middle we're two, two and a quarter. Again, same thing on this side, I call it two and a half. And then on this side, you know, two and three quarters. So um, give or take about two and a half inch average track here. And uh, really that's mostly because of this, you know, crowning a little bit on the edge. Um, but just kind of show you apples to apples where we're at. So about two and a half inch average track depth here, um, just up the hill from the gully in the field near Humphrey after 18 rounds. Okay, so we're on the other side of the gully from where we just showed you uh, track depth measurements. And uh, same thing, EWS pivot track going along, it's very uniform. Um, I've got a, a corn stalk going across the track here again to take some measurements. Um, you know, basically we're about inch and a half in the middle and inch and let's say a quarter on the side. And then on this side, we've got inch and three quarter. So, you know, inch and a half average track depth uh, at this point on the other side of the gully, combine is not gonna feel this track. And, uh, you know, as you can see behind me, it's very uniform. So um, I'm pretty happy with this to see at the end of the season. And uh, that's where we're at. Let's go check out the 11.2 24 pneumatic on the next two towers over and uh, see how those tracks did after 18 rounds. Okay, so this is the gully draw track for the 11 24 pneumatic that's running one tower over from our EWS pivot series. And um, as you can see here, visibly, the track is significantly bigger or deeper. Um, you know, it's, it's a rut, whereas over on the other one, it was kind of a witness uh, track. So let's take some tread depth measurements here. Yeah, so center here, we're about 11 inches. And then on the side, we're at eight. And over here, we're at about eight and a half. So average to about nine and a half inches. And uh, that's gonna be about six times deeper track than what our EBRS Pivot Series track was just one tower over. Let's take a look at either side of the gully up the hill and take some track depth measurements there as well so that we can really show you how this tire is done over the course of 18 rounds. Okay, so uh, this is the 11 24 pneumatic track up from the gully on the one side of it. And uh, I've got my stick across here, my corn stalk. Let's take some tread depth measurements. So in the center, we're gonna be about seven. On this side, we're six and a half. And over here, we're six and a half. So 
you know, six and a half, six and three quarter inch track depth average. Um, again, there's some ridging on the sides like there was with ours, but apples to apples, let's call it six and a half inch average track depth. And uh, that's where we're at after 18 rounds with that 11 to 24 pneumatic here. As you can see behind me, it's quite consistent as well. Let's go to the other side of the gully draw and check out the track depth measurement there. Okay, so this is the 11 to 24 pneumatic track, and this is on the opposite side of the gully that we just showed you. I've got my corn stalk across the track here. Let's take some measurements. Um, looking at about six inches in the middle and you know, five and a half on the one side, five inches on this side. So call it an average track depth of five and a half inches. And uh, yeah, as we're out after 18 rounds with this 11 to 24 uh, in this location. So let's go in and get out of the rain and we can summarize some results for you. Okay, so we're out of the field now and I look a little bit like a drowned rat just because of the rain that came through. But at the end of the day, it's all about getting the results that we want to see. Um, so just to summarize things, the EWS Pivot Series tracks were anywhere from about an inch and a half to two and a half inches, depending on whether we were in the low spots or up on the hills. And then the 11 to 24 pneumatic tires was about nine and a half inch track in the gully, and then five and a half and six and a half up on the hills. So really anywhere from three to six times deeper track with the 11 to 24 versus the EWS Pivot Series tire. Um, Again, 18 rounds, middle of September. That's a lot of water and a lot of rounds to make on a pivot. And uh, tracking really starts to show the difference at the end of the season. Basically, what we really wanted to do here is just highlight to you the performance of our tire compared to a pneumatic. And hopefully we taught you something through this video series. We're gonna be doing this again next summer in different fields, different applications to really kind of highlight the versatility of our tires as they work in different applications. Having said that, one thing I'll say with this field in particular is that this farmer's been running 11 224s for quite a long time, and he hasn't gone to a taller tire or a wider tire as of yet. As you saw, there are some deeper tracks in the gullies, but he's been able to manage that. In a lot of fields like this, farmers are running 11 224s and getting away with it. So, at Evolution Wheel, we decided to come up with an 11224 that takes all the features and benefits of our EWS Pivot Series as well as our Pivot XT Series, combine them into one, and be able to offer farmers a bit more economical option when they're looking for an airless tire option for their pivot. Except, one thing we did critically was make it 12 and a quarter inches wide instead of 11 and a quarter. That's going to get you a little bit more flotation and just help with applications like this where you're trying to reduce running. I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, give us a call. We're always here to help.